So the other day I saw an artist doing wood burning on TikTok and I really wanted to try it out. So I bought this wood burning kit from Sam's Club. It came with all these different tips for different textures and strokes, as well as several different pieces of wood to wood burn on. Some smaller, some bigger, and they're all in different shapes. And of course the wood burner itself and watercolor paints for the final pieces. It also came with stencils, already drawn if you're not an artist yourself, and the transfer paper to easily transfer the paper designs onto this piece of wood. So I want to try what one of the pre-made designs before I make my own design, and so I can get used to doing wood burning. So I'm thinking of doing this B on this, no, this one right here. It also came with a stand to put the wood burner on to cool down so you don't accidentally start a fire and all you have to do is prompt it up like this tape the bottom to your table as so i will say that the cord is a little short so you might have to sit closer to an outlet so i cut out my b print and now i'll cut this to fit this shape so we're not wasting the transfer paper and then you place the transfer paper underneath and then we will simply trace over one tip to remember is to put the shiny side on the facing downwards in order to get the design onto the wood. Of truth, not bad. And after finishing wood burning and there's any stray lines left behind by the pencil, you could easily just erase it. So don't sweat it. So while I wait for my wood burner to heat up, which could take 5-10 to 10 minutes as what I've seen on the internet, here's some tips and tricks to keep you safe. I'll put these in the background to keep stuff interesting. One, you might want to keep your pets out of your room to keep them safe. You don't want them jumping into the wood burner, especially if they're a cat. Two, you want to have a place of ventilation, which could be a fan or an open window, so you don't overly inhale it. Three would be to wear a mask. Four, never leave your wood burner unattended. So first, I'm gonna go on the other side and just practice doing lines, maybe writing my name, which unfortunately I will not be able to record while I'm wood burning because I don't wanna actually hurt myself. I will invest in something to hold my phone and record later on. So here's how the B came out, and now I'm gonna add some paint. And here is the final piece I used watercolors for the yellows, and I went over the black lines with this black ink brush pen and with some white acrylic paint for the shine. 